Tucson Police Department's losing more officers than ever, and now the situation has reached a critical point and could have an effect on our safety. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo digging deeper and looking into what's being done to stop it from getting even worse. On May 29th, Tucson police officers came face to face with hundreds of protesters. The near riot downtown happened following the death of George Floyd, who died in police custody in Minneapolis. A few short weeks later. We've lost 23 officers since June, and that's way higher than our normal attrition rate. The reason for the officers leaving, everything from retirement to getting fired to leaving TPD for other jobs. We're very concerned that this is a trend that's gonna continue as the months roll on. And these are personnel that we simply cannot afford to lose. You know, I was in internal affairs for four years. In his 22 years on the force, Sergeant Stephen Erdman has served in a number of positions, from auto theft and patrol to investigating murders. Earlier this month, he officially retired, but signed up for the Deferred Retirement Option Plan, or DROP program. It's an incentive to keep experienced officers, such as Erdman, on the job. The, uh, the pension board, takes your retirement pension check and then it's invested and every year you're guaranteed a certain rate of return. Urban plans on staying five more years. However, according to Winsky, even with the drop program, officers are still leaving. The chief pays very close attention to our attrition rate. It's something that concerns him greatly. It's also concerning for the community because the city invests at least $100,000 to hire, train, and equip each new officer. There's a massive financial and time commitment to, to these folks when we bring them on board. Winsky says if officers keep leaving at the current rate... We're going to see serious staffing shortages, which are, is going to increase call response times, which in many cases is already too long. Winsky says another reason officers are leaving is the pay, among the lowest in this area. 16 years ago, there were more than 1,000 officers. Today, there's 825, even as the city's population has nearly doubled. Digging deeper, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.